come in. Isn't this so cool? Look at this. It's like a... Hi guys, it's Ava here. I'm super excited to be doing this tutorial today on something that is so near and dear to me and that is my Harley Quinn cosplay look. I love the movie Suicide Squad and Jared Leto, if you're watching this, call me and I will put out. I've gotten a lot of requests um, and emails about how I did my makeup, how I did the hair, um, about my costume, and I'm going to spill the tea and tell it to you all today. So without further ado, we're gonna begin the tutorial, but first I'm gonna change into something a little bit more comfortable. So guys, I put on my um, temporary tattoo and right now I, on a clean, my clean face and I put a little alcohol, I'm going to put these facelift tapes on um, and they are going to go underneath the wig. And what I like to do is put them on now so when I do my foundation, it will cover them. So the first um, thing I'm going to be doing with my face is my eyes and I'm going to be priming them with this Bobbi Brown light long wear eye base. So after that, I'm going in with my Morphe 35B palette, which is so colorful. I love this palette. It's really great for cosplay. And I am gonna just dip right into this red right here in these three colors. We're just gonna play around. So in the same palette, I'm going to be dipping and using these three blues. So I like to play around like that. So um, I like to take a makeup wipe after I put the base of my eyeshadow on and just clean up any fallout. So right now, I should have done this before I did my eye makeup, but hey, shit happens. I'm gonna pop in my contacts. Okay, so I popped in my contacts. I had a little technical difficulty, but I popped them in. So now we're gonna move on to foundation. Now, Harley has really white skin. She was like pushed by the Joker. Well, not pushed, but she jumped in like this big tub of acid. So it like, you know, made her skin white. So I'm using two um, foundations. This is um, MAC Match Master in one. It just has one on the bottom. And this is Tarte Radiance of the Sea in Fair Natural. So this was a Morphe E26 brush. I really love this, it's double-sided and that's what I use to apply my foundation with. Next, I'm gonna take the Morphe M439 brush. I love this brush, it's amazing, and buff in my foundation. So now we're gonna go in with my favorite concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. And this is like one of my favorite brushes. This is a, like a beauty blender on a, a stick. And this is the Morphe G2 brush. And we're going to blend, darling. So next, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder, and I'm going to be using a Morphe M439 brush, and I'm gonna be setting under my eyes, and I just like to stick it right, right in there.
I'm going to take this little M3 2 brush from Morphe and I'm gonna dip, dip it right into that red. And I'm going to intensify my eyeshadow. I'm also going to take the same brush, but a clean one, and I'm going to pop into my blue shadows. So I'm done baking my face, and I'm going to go in with a sheer powder that is a little darker than the powder that I put on my face, and I'm just going to wipe away This is a Bobbi Brown face blender brush. I don't use any bronzer on this look. I'm the queen, I love contour, bronzer, but Harley has nothing. She is completely white and she wants to look like a clown. So she has really, really um, pink red cheeks. So I'm gonna go in with these two colors. This is from MAC and it's called Pink Spoon and this is from Bobbi Brown and it is called Pony. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna smoke out the bottom of my lash line. So in the corner, I like to pop a little of the really dark navy blue in the inner corner of the eye. So now that we have that done, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on. So while we're letting the mascara dry, we're going to add some sparkle. And these, this is the Urban Decay. It's just from Urban Decay. It's like a sparkly thing. And I'm going to build this again too. And put a little. So I'm gonna go in with this NYC pencil and go right into my waterline. And I like to go and just pop a little black right underneath my upper lash line. So I'm going in with my MAC number one and number two lashes and these I doubled. And um, I'm gonna put some false lashes on Miss Harley because my version of Harley is very glamorous because she's gonna go to the strip club, she's gonna go have a hot date with the Joker. So I'm going to let my eyelashes dry a little bit and um, then I'm gonna go back in and put some mascara on and make them look a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and I'm using, this is from Benefit, it's a brow pencil and it's really cool, it has a spoolie on one side and then um, the eyebrow on the other. And I'm using the shade four. But um, to highlight underneath my eyebrows, I'm gonna use a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape. These are both the MAC 224 brush. So now that my eyelashes are dry, I'm gonna go in with some mascara and blend my eyelashes with the false eyelashes so it looks a little bit more realistic. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my lips. And I'm gonna start with MAC 
Captain Prime. So I'm going to go in with two liquid lips. One is from Kat Von D and the other is from MAC. This one is called Feel So Grand from MAC and this one is called Outlast from Kat Von D. This is still tacky and I'm letting it dry, but I'm going to take my Kat Von D and pop it right in the middle of my lips for a little bit more dimension. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the makeup cloth and I'm going to wipe off the foundation and the blush from just where I have the temporary tattoo. And then I'm going to go back in and just make a little bit more dimension with this NYC liquid black liner. Now for my bottom eyelashes, I'm going to go in with the MAC. Um, play Lash Mascara. So I'm just going to do uh, some touch-ups with some glitter. A little bit more glitter under the eye. The last step I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Ice Cold Highlighter. I really love this color. It comes out like a really creamy, milky, white, iridescent pearl. So... Now I'm going to set my face with one of my favorite setting sprays, and this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And she's alive. So I'm going to be applying my wig, and before I started my makeup, I put on the facelift tapes, and these are the little um, bungee cords that go underneath them. So I'm going to go in and apply these. So I'm going to take these cords and there's like a little hook in the back. Because I'm going to put this underneath See my ponytail. I'm going to pull this back and put it right underneath my ponytail. So it gives me a little instant facelift. I have the facelift tapes and then I have the hair net on or the wig cap. I like to take um, the got to be glued spray. I like to shake it and I like to put right on the perimeter. Next, I'm going to take the Got To Be Glued. So after applying a thin layer of glue, I'm going to take a blow dryer on a cool setting and I'm going to blow dry and get this a little tacky. I'm going to carefully take the wig. I'm going to pull the back of it down and clip the clips in the back of my hair. And just hold it for a little. So guys, I glued my wig on. I'm going to go change and I will be right back. Hey guys, this is the finished look. I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial. It's so much fun. I really love Harley Quinn so much. It's one of my favorite cosplay characters to do. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment below and you can check me out on all of my social media at Ava Glasscott. Build and blend, build and blend. I know. Oh, uh, <laughs> stop.
Uh, do you no. think I should edit the I'll put out part or do you think that's funny? If this isn't the right way that it rotted is, I'm going to scream. And you want to be like all glamorous and shit. And, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm done. Are we done? We're done, right? Okay, I'm done. We're done. Are we done? Okay, we're done.